So I wanted to create a very pretty um, shimmering um, smoky eye that I thought a lot of people could get a lot of use out of from various walks of life. I think it has a simplicity to it so slightly younger girls can wear it. Um, or if you feel like you are aging and you can't wear that much makeup on your eyes, this I think would be appropriate for you. Most of the shading is very sultry and done in the outer corner, so I still think it's very sexy, almost um, very uh, date appropriate, picture friendly. Um, and then of course a very shimmering kind of raspberry cheek and very soft um, nudie pink lips. Um, if you're still sort of in that mood for romantic Valentine's Day makeup, this could also serve that purpose for you. And I hope that you enjoy this look and um, have fun getting pretty in it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy Andalou Naturals Eye Brightening Serum. And this just sort of makes your eyes appear a little bit more luminous and bright and sort of depuffs them, detoxes them, and makes them easier to blend all the eyeshadows on top when there's a lot less creasing. Now I'm going to take the All Natural Face Magic Vegan Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to blend this from my lid to my brow bone. Double prime my eyelids, so to speak, by taking the Tarte Smolderize Pencil in the color Champagne. I'm going to put this all over the base of the eyelid. I could actually use a lot less. I'm just really going to blend that out, almost kind of removing some in the process because I don't want to get any creasing. But I am going to be kind of generous when I pack on the pigment. 390, one of my favorites. You can see I've already hit pan in it and that's quite a feat to, <laughs> to make with ink lash shadows because they are over 2.5 grams. I'm gonna take the Dom Tool 781, which is a pointed angled little brush. And I am going to go into the outer corner. And blend pretty low on the crease. And why I took this little brush, because we're not going to go too high. I'm just going to carve the crease out, get that dimension in there. All right, so now I'm going to take Sugar Pills Lumi. You could use this wet. I'm doing it over the cream base. And I'm just going to pat this all over. I'm now going to take 363 by Inglot, which is just this smooth matte brown. And we're just going to go over the outer portion where we place 390, but go a little bit lower. And pull it into the crease a little bit. Now I'm going to take 458, which is a shimmery dark brown. We're going to go into an even smaller portion of the eye. Just pretty much the outer V kind of fluff it out. I'm going to take 65 AMC, which is a black with silver sparkles because we're already doing this silver. They do make a black with gold sparkles if you want to sort of work with the brown more or the warm tone more. Mm. 111R, which is this light peach rainbow color. And we're going to put this on with the Dom Tool 769 just sort of like an, the elbow of brushes. And what I like about it, it gets just into the arch very nicely and doesn't over blend out your work. I just like to stamp it along the color line and then just make sure it blends, the highlight shade blends up into the brow bone. I'm now gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in Matte Camille. And we're just going to place this on the waterline. Now I'm going to take Inglot 112R and put this on with my pirouette number 13, which is just sort of a very small, kind of um, very small tapered pointer uh, little brush. Take the Urban Lux Vegan Mascara. This is waterproof black. And we're just going to place this on the upper and lower lash lines. And now I took the Josie Moran Argon Argon Liquid Eye uh, sorry the Josie Moran Magic Marker Argon Liquid Eyeliner to do the upper lashes. I did do the mascara first so I could see just how much of the liquid eyeliner I actually felt I needed. I'm now actually going to take the Ardell Professional Natural Demi Lovelies. These are half the size of Lovies. Lovies go about 
up to the brow bone. These are just a little bit more sweet and demure, but they still actually have quite a pair, quite a bit of length for a pair of demi. I'm gonna take my Inglot YSM and number 41. 2000 Illuminating Light Touch Diffusing Concealer, number two natural under the eyes and brought it up pretty far. Now I'm going to take um, the Too Faced Aqua Bunny. This is the Splash Proof Waterproof Bronzer. I'm just going to blend that out I'm using the same brush I used for my foundation brush so my cream bronzer doesn't look streaky or harsh. And I want to take the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Blush. This is the color Raspberry and it's basically described as a shimmering Barbie pink. It's like a really pigmented kind of doll-like pink without being too baby dollish. So you do see it, which is nice. Faced candlelight and keep it pretty toned down because oh, we already got the shimmery eyelids and I'm just going to put this on the front part of the cheek. This is really beautiful highlighter for warm weather or like a candlelit dinner. I'm now going to take the Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner in 68, which is a shimmery coral. Very light peachy coral. Take 263, which is a cream finish nude. I know I seem to buy all the cream finishes from Inglot. That also used to be my favorite finish with MAC. Pink and Lilac from Pumpkin and Poppy. And the equivalent to this is Abernathy. This is like her second edition of Pink and Lilac. She had a first one which was much paler. This one's definitely close to Abernathy. And I hope that you enjoyed it.